to go over some of the changes in the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland. Starting from the front, there's a new bumper on all the Tesla Model 3 Highlands. On this performance, there's air curtains on the side and a dedicated splitter down below that's matte black. It looks nice. Next up in the front, they moved the washer fluid reservoir to the front. It makes it easier to fill. The size is still the same. My carpeted floor mat fit from my 2022. Replace the lead acid battery with a lithium iron phosphate that should last the life of the car and much lighter weight. There's new matrix headlights for the Highland. Thinner, they have a parking light strip along the edge and they are adaptive with the latest software updates in the US for cornering. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think the windshield washer design has changed. It seems to stay on the windshield better now before it would spill over to the side windows when the washers hit. Moving inside, we have the new steering wheel design. There's no more stocks for gear selection or windshield wipers. You get used to this really quickly. Simply put your foot on the brake and swipe up on the screen to go forward or down to go into reverse. Even a backup gear selector in case this, something happens to the screen, you can still drive. They've improved the cup holder design. Now it deforms to hold your cup. There's still no liner in the bottom, so it's gonna get dirty but it's a big improvement of the old design that the cup would flop around. They've changed the door card material. Now you get this nice Alcantara on the performance or long range, and you get a fabric type material on the standard range. Door pockets are now lined with carpet. That probably helps them look better and reduce noise. New glove box design that has a magnetic clasp to keep it shut. It seems like it's a little bit smaller than the old one. Remove the wood from the dash in the door, and now you get this piece of carbon fiber on the performance trim all model 3 highlands have this rgb ambient lighting strip that goes throughout the cabin back to the steering wheel so on the left hand side you have your turn signal controls and high beam flasher these work well the capacitive touch but they have a force feedback just remember to take your thumb off the signal when you're done it won't read your next press and back consoles have been redesigned now the 12 volt outlet's been moved to the front Voltmeter reads 15.1 volts. Single USB-C in the rear portion of the console. The performance and long range get a new premium sound system with dual subwoofers now. It really sounds great. They've added a new blind spot monitor LED. This is the first for any Tesla. And when you turn on a turn signal to change lanes, your blind spot camera will come up with a red line if something is in the area. This additional door closure point in all four doors to aid in crash safety and the doors now close more soundly. All the Model 3 seats are now perforated with heating and cooling. These are the performance trim. Sport seats. The cooling function works really well in the summer. Moving to the rear, there's a lot of changes there, including this double plane glass to make the ride quieter. And emergency door pulls on the rear doors on the Model 3 for the first time. The Y has already had these. The rear seats are now perforated also and are still very comfortable. They're heated only. There's a new design on the center armrest and cup holder seems to stick out further. Interior lights are now touch operated and they're LED. They added a lot of functionality to the rear screen. Now you can watch Netflix or YouTube. You can control the fan speed and direction of the vents. When you initiate audio or video from the rear screen, it can come out of the rear speakers or you can pair a Bluetooth headset. Here are the HVAC controls and there's two USB-Cs under the screen. Now you can lock this screen from the front also. One neat feature is if no one's sitting in the passenger seat, you can move it up and out of the way using the rear screen. Pretty cool. Into the rear, there's a new larger trunk opening. You move the taillights onto the back of the trunk lid. Now it says Tesla on the back of the car and there's a ludicrous badge for the performance trim. The performance also gets a carbon fiber rear spoiler that steps down at the edges auto trunk feature if you stand near the back of the car with your phone key it'll flash three times and then open there's a new diffuser on the back of the car they move the turn signals and the reverse lights to the bottom also added air streaks to the back of the car to aid in efficiency and create extra downforce in the performance trim there's new 20 inch lightweight forged wheels with wider Pirelli P0s on the back. The car handles well with these and corners flat. 
3s get a new suspension with adaptive dampers. The Performance has active dampers with, with a standard and sport setting. The hardware version 4 cameras are much better quality. Now there's a button on the right hand side of the steering wheel to activate the cameras as well as a microphone button for voice commands. There you go, there's all the changes in the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.